Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading The Remarried Empress episode 169. I am extremely tired. I went to a wedding yesterday and we didn't get home until a little late and a little late for me is like 9 30 because I'm usually in bed at 8 30 because I work morning shift. So I'm exhausted, okay? I, work, I wake up normally at like 3 30 a.m and go to work be there by five because I live so far away <laughs> but yeah I'm used to that schedule right now <sighs> all right let's go ahead and get started your majesty I just saw Lady Neon while I was in the city would you believe that she was quarreling with Viscount's laundry I wouldn't have expected that of them really yes could it be because Marquis Reverdy is trying to woo Lady Neon? Laura. Marquis Reverdy, Duke Reverdy's eldest son, Merlani's cousin and older brother of Yon. Uh, Amara's family's adopted son. Enough gossiping, go change. Aww. To think that Neon became embroiled in a scandal here as well. She really is something else. Could it be that was why he looked so troubled when we were in the will? -woo? But there could always be another reason. Your Majesty. Um, His Majesty's personal aide is here. It's hardly unusual for McKenna to drop by, so why does she look so concerned? He often drops by to report the work he took over after I became pregnant. McKenna? Is something wrong? <laughs> He's like looking around. What I'm about to tell you must stay a secret, your majesty. Dun dun. His majesty told Marquis Catron to give him his body yesterday evening. Then he told me to step out of the room. Huh? He said he couldn't concentrate with me around. Do you understand what that means? Ah, uh, so that what he meant when he said he has someone suitable to practice on. So don't worry and just give me some time. Marquis Catron is also a mage, so Henry wanted to test what he learned from the Grand Duke on him. I'm taking your side on this, Your Majesty. You know that, right? Huh? Thank you. Good grief. That blasted emperor is in the bane of my existence. <laughs> I don't know why McKenna is so worked up, but he's the one who works the hardest to help me and Henry develop our relationship, relationship further. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. I'm looking forward to seeing him. Uh, uh, dun dun. Wonderful. D uh, uh. Don't be so shocked. His Majesty did it for me. Dun, dun. He, he, he did it for you. Yes, I just wanted to learn something new. That's all. <clears throat> McKenna's distorted memory. Refer to episode episode one sixty six. Oh yeah. <gasps> My queen, may I have a moment of your time? Sure, G come in. I I'll be off. Huh? What's it what was he doing here? What was he doing here? What? I think there's some kind of misunderstanding. <laughs> if we both remember or recall it correctly, you know what happened. I, well, um... About yesterday. I'm sorry about that about yesterday huh what do you have to apologize for it's me who has been whining because i was too impatient i made you wait even though i knew you were looking forward to learning from me you were only looking out for me was the test successful of course i'm confident i can do it successfully now i tested it several times <clears throat> I mean, I studied hard. I'll begin. 
Was that kiss part of it? It was. It's supposed to help you sense the man up. Who told you that? I did. Would you rather I don't do it? <laughs> You're so flirty with each other. Well, if it's supposed to help, then I guess I must allow it. The Remarried Empress, episode 169. Meanwhile, in the Eastern Empire, a celebratory banquet will be held in anticipation of the first heir of the Western Empire. I hope you will grace us with your presence. I trust that you will make the time given our past. Oh, and I expect that you will have some advice for me as you already have experience in matters of pregnancy and birth. Bastard. That, you know, Henry wrote that to spite Sovatio. You, you got, you all should know that. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> you should give me some advice. He, he, you know, now that I have your ex empress or ex wife. Such a job. So petty. Not again. Yet another incident with the invitation. See episode 119. <laughs> Going to the wedding was fine, and I did so to improve diplomatic relations between our nations. But a banquet to celebrate a pregnancy? The pregnancy of my former wife when it hasn't even been a year since the divorce? He's trying to rile me up. Why are you just still standing there? Do you have something more to say? Uh, um, well, it has been reported that Empress Rashtra cried in Duke Ergi's arm. Is this happening right now? I don't think so, your majesty. The ru rumors reached my ears after spreading widely. Spreading widely. That means the whole palace is talking about it. Does that woman not even realize she's supposed to bear some semblance to an empress? I already have a lot on my mind. Yet she added fuel to the fire again. Oh, she's in trouble. You said Alan went to see Rashta right after he met me, right? Did she burst into tears after seeing the father of her first child? Because I dredged up the feelings she had for him. Was she trying to get her lover? Duke Ergi to comfort her after confiding in him? Could Duke Ergi be... No, no. The timeline doesn't add, but doesn't match up. Glorium is definitely my child. But it doesn't have to be Lotatius, Otis son, or the Duke. There could be a third person. I never knew a year could be so long. She's not a fool, but she acts like it. Your Majesty, the child Navier, Navier will have. The one that could have been mine. I'll eventually have to see that child, whether I like it or not. I hope that child doesn't take after Navier. Articles about your scandal with Duke Ergi have also been printed in the newspaper that commoners read. People don't stop to think about whether such stories are true or not. Don't forget how your majesty got to where you are. So what exactly does he want me to do about it? He was the one who took a new mistress. And the person who took away my baby. He treated me horribly first. There hasn't been a change in the relationship between the Duke and me. The strange thing here is that the bad rumor started as soon as His Majesty turned his back on me. And the reporter is to blame too. The Empress Calidistan meeting, who is a mystery person. The princess is healthy despite being born early. He published the article about the baby right below the one about the secret meeting, which puts weird ideas into people's head. My father, my adoptive parents, the father and grandfather of my first child. All those people who are supposed to be my family are squeezing me dry. 
Are you going to a banquet to celebrate the Empress Navier's pregnancy? Huh? There was a rumor going around that the reason His Majesty divorced Empress Navier was because she was infertile. But I guess that was false. There are lots of fa false rumors. Emperor Henry had a reputation of being a womanizer, but it, it is known that he's a very good to Empress Navier. What? That woman? That woman isn't infertile? Oh my goodness. So this whole time, I kind of thought that, I kind of thought that Rashta knew of this, that Navier is pregnant. But wow, now we know right here is that she, as she's crying in the middle of the courtyard, behind the bushes, of course, um, she just found out Navier is actually not infertile and is actually carrying a child. Like, what is she going to do now? And to hear that, you know, Navier is in a happy relationship with her new husband, I'm very sure Rasha is losing it, like just losing it. Uh, but of course here, we kind of do see a glimpse of Rasha having a freak out, a meltdown, because she doesn't have anyone on her side except for quote unquote Duke, Duke Ergi, because he's pretending to be her friend, but he's actually just a plant to pretend to be there for her, but it's actually giving her bad advice. So she would self sabotage, you know? Um, so yeah, she's actually very isolated. She's having all these children and all the men are taking her kids away. She doesn't have a chance to mature and be better. And so Veshu, her husband turned his back on her and her husband just keep looking at her like as a, a pest, you know, like, ugh, like, I just need to get rid of you already. And of course, her husband's also still misses his ex-wife. And that's hard. You know, that's really hard. Ugh. Having a obsessive ex is just disgusting. I just, just move on. But ugh, the story is getting really good. Anyways, if you guys enjoy the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumb thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all feel about this. Of course, no spoilers. If you guys are gonna put spoilers, put spoilers, then like enter, enter, enter. So that way other people who have yet, who don't wanna be spoiled, don't read your comments on this, on accident, okay? Um, but I welcome spoilers. I will read it regardless, but just put that for courtesy, courtesy for other people, okay? All right, guys, I'll be working on May's reads. Uh, I'll be very busy this month with a lot of stuff happening in my family. Uh, baby shower to going to people's engagement stuff. It's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, luckily, my family don't really watch this, so they don't know anything. But uh, I'm going to be very busy, so I won't be able to record as much. Hopefully, I get everything done for May. But if I don't, please be patient. Anyways, that is it. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!